I am David, your developer on duty, and in this video we're gonna continue our Rust project and implement a custom deserializer for Surdy. As a small recap of the last video, we used the domain definition language to model our domain, which we compiled to a JSON data structure. And as the main step of the last video, we deserialized that data structure into corresponding Rust types using the derived deserialize functionality of the crate Surdy. Now we want to enhance our functionality and add more complicated features of our domain definition language. Unfortunately, it's not possible to automatically derive deserialize anymore, therefore we need to implement a custom deserialization procedure. The feature we're going to implement is called annotations. You can annotate, for example, elements with any set of annotations. These must begin with an add symbol. For example, if we want to annotate the field title, we just write add my custom annotation. And the value of this annotation must be a JSON value. That means it either can be a Boolean, a string, an array, or an object. Let's just choose foo. And you can also add other annotations. And let's choose an array here. Let's compile this model and look how the corresponding JSON data structure looks like. As you can see, the annotations are behind this title element. Unfortunately, the names of those custom annotations are not statically known. Therefore, we cannot just add them to our element struct and let Surdy derive the deserialization functionality. There's no feature of Surdy to detect that they begin with a certain symbol and to convert them into a corresponding data structure. We have to deserialize this manually. The first thing we need to do is to add a place to store those annotations. Let's call it annotations. It's a hash map of string and something which we actually don't really know. It could be a bool, a string, any JSON value. So we just write value and use this from our 30 JSON crate. This can store any JSON value. Let's remove derived deserialize and also those 30 attributes. Now we can implement deserialize ourselves. It takes a lifetime parameter and we implement it for our element and we add those missing members. And as you can see, there's only one method called deserialize which we need to implement. The only thing to do in this method is to take the deserializer and call deserialize map. And deserialize map is used if you want to deserialize, for example, here this JSON object. And what we need to provide is a so called visitor, which we need to declare now. Let's just call it element visitor. And all the information how to deserialize a map is defined in the element visitor. Now let's define this element visitor type and implement the visitor trait. Can be an empty struct. And now we want to implement, and again, we need some lifetime parameter, visitor for element visitor. Now we need to import visitor from our Surdy crate and implement all missing members. So first we need to provide this value here. So the value will be of type element. And as you can see, there's this expecting method, which will be called if we cannot deserialize this structure. So we just write formatter, write stir, could not deserialize element. But the most important method which we need to implement is called visit map. 
and as you can see there are visit xxx for all those types but we are only interested in map so what do we need to do here we get a map which is an internal 3d data structure which is representing the content of this object here and we have to return a result of self value and self value is our element and in case something goes wrong we have to provide the corresponding error so let's just create an empty element which will be filled once we loop over all map entries so we write let mood element equals to element and now we need to provide the default values so we can just write default default and spread it but we also need to derive default here and this is the element which we have to return with an ok now let's loop over our map and fill the content of element while let some key equals to map and it has a function called next key and here we also need to provide that we want the key as a string and now it complains that it cannot borrow um, map as mutable so we should change that and now we can implement our logic if the key starts with some add then we want to take our annotations and insert key and get the value which we get by writing map dot next value and else we can match our key as stir and now if it's type then we want to say element dot element type equals to map next value otherwise if it's a key we say element key equals to map next value and for everything else we don't want to do anything now we have one mandatory field called type and if it's not there we should throw an error so we can just say if element element type is empty then we return early and we can return an error de error missing field type and let's also import it now let's run our test and see if it actually works and you can see the test is successful and if we look at our model we have here our books entity which has the title element and here are our annotations we have foo as a string and uh, bar in an array for my other custom annotation so everything works as expected. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed how to write a custom deserialization logic for Surdy. If you have any remarks or questions, please add them in the comments. In the next video, we're going to continue our journey to improve our data types. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.